Hi, I'd like to walk you through the process of creating a room in a 3D space so that um, if you wanted to animate a character inside of a room, it can look um, a little bit more three-dimensional as opposed to two-dimensional. So the first thing, uh, start a new file, and I'm going to create a folder called Walls and um, I'll drag the first layer into that and I'm going to name that first layer wall one right out of the gate okay and we're, we're gonna make copies of that so with the rectangular drawing tool um, I'll choose some kind of a wall color and um, pretty much in the center I'll draw a wall and then I will try to set up my origin point right in the middle there. All right. And then I'm going to duplicate this twice so that I get three walls. Okay, so I've got wall one, two, and three. Wall one will keep in the middle. Wall two, I'm going to just pull over to the to the right. So on the PC, I want to hold the shift key down. Oh, and um, uh, click on the um, transform layer icon over here in the tools palette. Hold the shift key down, drag with the left mouse button down, and um, just right to the edge of the right edge of the the center rectangle. And then click on the wall three layer, and we'll do the same thing, holding down shift, holding down left mouse button. Um, and pulling that over to the left, just on the edge of uh, the left edge of that that center rectangle, and then we need a floor. So I will create a, a new vector layer, name that floor, and choose the rectangular drawing tool. Try a different color for the floor, and draw something out kind of underneath that center one okay so then I'm let me collapse this uh, folder pull the floor down under there so we've got the walls folder well uh, one two and three okay one's in the middle two's off to the right three's off to the left and our floor is below here so we're going to be um, creating this in a 3d mimicking a 3D environment in a, in a 2D program. So just to see what you're starting out with, uh, over in the Tools palette under the Workspace category, click on this Orbit icon here, and, uh, and then click with your left mouse button, and drag around on the screen. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit there. And you can see that all of these objects right now are on a flat plane. They are at zero. They're at zero on the X, Y, and Z axis. Okay? And um, your camera icon is showing and the little tiny arrow pointing towards all of the objects is showing basically in a three-dimensional space where your camera is at. Alright? So I'm going to click up here, Reset View, just to make sure I'm kind of back at square one. So next we want to rotate walls two and three at a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to click on wall two, and then go here in the uh, Layers menu to the Rotate Layer XY icon. And then we see we've got this um, rectangular object highlighted. Uh, you can click in the Y rotation um, menu here, and if you want to, you can scroll with your mouse wheel, okay? You can roll it after you've clicked in there, but we do already know that we want 90 degrees, so I'm going to type in 90 and hit the Enter key, and then I'm going to do the same thing, click on Wall 3, and make sure that uh, my rotate layer XY um, button is checked. And again, go in here and type 90 and 
and hit enter. Okay, so let's look at this again with the orbit tool. All right, and you can see what's happened. All right, and let's do that for the floor. I'm going to reset, let me reset view and click on the floor layer. And again, with the, um, the button for rotate layer X and Y, and this time we're going to go on the X rotation, and we do need, once again, a 90 degree angle from where it's sitting. And so let's have a look at that, back to the orbit button. Okay. Now we do have a lot of adjusting to do. Let's zoom in and see what's, what's up. Um, the uh, walls on the right and the left need to come in closer to that center what is going to be our back wall and our floor needs to be pulled forward closer to the camera and it needs to come down along the baseline of this rectangular object here which is going to be our back wall alright and uh, you know it's it can be pretty tricky to key in the numbers and use the the mouse wheel so you can use a combination of things I like to go back and forth um, using the transform layer icon and dragging uh, the objects around and then looking again with the orbit tool so you kind of go back and forth between the two alright like right here I'm just going to drag that down and click and see what's going on on the uh, back side and you can just kind of keep going back and forth rolling it around, checking all your angles, and that actually is starting to look pretty good for the floor. Okay, and then I need to bring it forward though. Let me reset view and layer transform. And that's going to be my z-axis there. So Let's see how I did. Okay, pretty good. So the floor is pretty far forward. Um, it's on this side where um, it's you know going to be seen by the camera. And let me try and get after these two walls now. So you do see the process that you've got to to work with here, and you've got you can. You can always click in here and um, roll your mouse wheel around if you want also. Whatever you feel is, is really working out the best for you. This is, like I said, it's a 2D program. This is all kind of an illusion. And um, so it's not, it's not like working, working in 3D. Okay, so we're pretty close. I'll bring that up and that'll help. Bring that. Okay. We probably need to just adjust that floor where it should have been. All right, so let's try, we'll try that now with the other wall. Okay, so um, I finished that up. I've got, uh, you know, pretty good, um, did it kind of quickly just for this demonstration, but I do have the floor and the two walls. Okay, and if I render this out, then, um, well, you can kind of see that, um, we do have a room here. I'm going to put a couple of objects in there. Um, I already created ahead of time. One is a picture frame for the back wall and that is kind of large so let me resize that. And then it was imported no doubt on that zero axis so I won't even have to worry about placing it all right, see it's it's sitting right there conveniently for me. And uh, then I've got 
a, um, a table that I actually created uh, by extruding some vector objects. And you can look at the Anime Studio um, user guide and tutorial manuals. Uh, they do show you, explain to you how to take your vector objects and extrude them um, so that you can create something like this this table right here. It's really not that difficult. The instructions are pretty easy to follow. So my table is in a, my parts are in a folder also and I'm going to click the transform layer button and try to get this down to um, a little better size for this room and of course I'm going to have to bring that down to the level that the floor is at so let's see here looks like I went a little too far huh and then we need to bring that forward okay so there's our top view all right and yeah I'm trying trying to zoom in a little bit too much here I've got a uh, too small of a room for my table and my uh, picture. Okay, so if you want to do a short animation, we've got, um, and uh, you know, watch the other demo about the camera tools, and uh, you can try to do a uh, 15 second animation or whatever the case may be. So we've got uh, tracking camera and go move a couple of frames out and then now mine's not going to look great because I made the room entirely too small. We can track to there and then maybe let's see Oh, maybe even track in I'm going to click up here in the box for z-axis and remember you have to do this by using your mouse wheel not just dragging left clicking and drag because the left click and drag just actually is your zoom tool for the, your user zoom tool so you can see that I just tracked across and then uh, the camera rolled in closer okay and if we wanted to tilt we actually need to select that camera icon and then uh, let me click once to establish a keyframe here and move forward a few frames and then I'll tilt in a little bit okay so that it won't do that until after that track uh, forward all right let me play this all right so that's a real quick example about uh, you know experiment with that camera create your three walls um, try to make a table or something to that effect and uh, put something hang something on a wall a picture or or perhaps some other extruded or lathed object and make a 15 second 30 second animation moving your camera around in the room and uh, see how that goes for you